Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So yesterday during the meme review, we took a look at one meme that decided to rank all of the Terraria bosses by difficulty. And in that video, I didn't really agree with their list. I thought it was a little bit like all over the place, you know, it's not how I would have ranked them. And then I decided, well, I've never ranked them. I've never sat down and gone, well, this boss is harder than this boss, which is like harder than this boss. So that's what we're doing today. Also, I should say, if you're wondering what I'm wearing right now, this is actually the new Terraria merch. So, you know, not sponsored, but I wanted to show it off because look how, look how orange it is, all right? I feel like they manufactured this in the same building where the coating for Doritos is made or like Tango Orange. It's very bright, it's very vibrant, uh, but hopefully it catches your eye. Uh, so what we're looking at here today, we've got from very hard to very easy to cheese. Which I would say right now, there aren't too many bosses that are like very easy to cheese. Because if I was going to start with this bottom pile, I would have put the King Slime down here. Because for a while, he was very easy to cheese. Alright, this boy was made of it. Uh, because of the rope trick, which has now been nerfed and thankfully so. So where does the where does the king slime go? Is he very easy to cheese? No. Is he very easy? Kind of. I would say I would say he is very easy depending on your world, right? Depending on how much effort you've put in because with the king slime he bobs along like this, right? And if you don't have a flat world or you don't have Hermes boots, he can be a bit of a nightmare, but I guess if you if you already know that, you can be prepared. I would put king slime as easy i wouldn't call him very easy no 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 all right the king deserves a little bit of respect the eye of cthulhu i should say by the way we're going to be talking about the master mode variants of all of these bosses all right not like a you know standard normal or expert has to be master so the eye of cthulhu this one is is easy right but but the second half bumps it up a lot bumps it up a hell of a lot actually and i feel like a lot more people would struggle with this boss than they would the king slime because you also need movement speed to to avoid some of those dodges especially if you're playing a master mode you know he deals a lot of damage you take a lot of damage all that uh, so i would maybe put it as not too bad does that seem right i don't know maybe we'll come back to it so the eater of worlds if there was a boss on this list that i would say is is very easy to cheese it probably would be this one. I have a lot of love for the Eater of Worlds and I, I feel bad about, you know, calling it so easy, but it is. The Eater of Worlds is very easy. It's why I actually like it because it's satisfying to kill. Where do I put it though? Weirdly, I, I find this list way harder than my favorite boss list because difficulty is subjective. Huh, hmm. I'm gonna put it at very easy. Is it harder than the King Slime? No. But is the King Slime just easy? Yeah. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> like, I'm already, I'm already struggling. I think the Eat of Worlds is very easy. And I think the King Slime is slightly harder. Let me know if you disagree. So, Brain of Cthulhu. I would say this is by far harder than the Eater of Worlds because it has the teleportation phase. And if you don't know to like look up at the minimap, you would struggle more with this. I feel like in normal mode, it's not that bad because I no, I'm going to put it at pretty easy. I am actually I'm kind of torn because I feel like the trick to this fight is having good knockback on a weapon. So if you're playing with a class that doesn't have great knockback, this can be a bit of a nuisance. I'm going to still leave it at pretty easy. I feel like Crimson fans would agree with that. I feel like Crimson fans are always like, the Brain of Cthulhu is really easy. I think I have a harder time with it than, than most people. So we're already up to the Queen B. Now you lot know I'm trash at this boss. I'm, I'm actually trash at it. For a little time, I was good. I got good. Uh, you know, I did my, my finger push-ups. All right. It didn't, it didn't pay off long term. Uh, I'm still bad at this fight. I don't know what it is for me. I think I'm just slow. <laughs> I don't think I'm a pleb. I think Queen Bee is really hard. <laughs> I wouldn't put it up to very hard. And I wouldn't... 
for me, honestly, I think it's hard. I, not too bad. I wouldn't even put it there. Most people, yeah, most people would go, not too bad. I struggle with it. I really struggle with it. If you've ever seen me Let's Play Terraria, I die to it a lot. And I tell you what, it sucks in multiplayer. It's got so much health in multiplayer. Like when me, Jaden, and Kelsey did it, we had a rough time. That was our hardest boss. So yeah, Queen B, hard. So Skeletron. Skeletron's a very interesting one because for a long time, I would have said it's hard, which I know is weird because it's kind of like, uh, in a way, it's now become my boss because it has my item. But ever since they've added the Chippy's Couch, I've gotten better at the fight. For me, it was the, the homing skulls. The homing skulls used to, to mess me up a lot. I could never really find a rhythm, but now I've played more Terraria. I don't think he's that bad. I reckon I could do him with pretty much any weapon going and not really have a bad time. I'm going to put Skeletron at pretty easy. I think he's easier than the Brain of Cthulhu for me. But is he... Is he harder than King Slime? Yeah. Yeah, he is harder than King Slime. He is. And he's definitely harder than the Eater of Worlds. So next up is the Wall of Flesh. This is another one that's also pretty pretty interesting because I think it depends on what class you use. If you're playing as a mage or a ranger and kind of melee, he's not a bad fight. Very easy. But if you're playing with yo-yos or sometimes playing as a summoner, it could be a lot harder. But they actually kind of like tweak that a little bit with 1.4 with the whips and such. So I guess I would put the Wall of Flesh at easy. I think he's easier for me than Skeletron. I die more to Skeletron and to these two than I do to the Wall of Flesh. But it, it all depends on like the approach you take. I like water walking potions personally. So I feel like if somebody didn't use that method, they'd have a harder time. But I think he's all right. Queen Slime. Okay, Queen Slime. Another hard one, because I don't think I've done this fight enough times, really, to get a good basis of comparison. I fought it as a summoner. I've done it as a ranger, as a mage. I've never done it as melee, though. But I think the hardest thing about the Queen Slime is its, uh, like, bubble attack, where it fires out in a, in a circle. And I feel like, because that's such a unique attack for Terraria, it's not really if you play modded, but it is for vanilla Terraria, I think it's quite hard. I think I struggle more with the second half of Queen Slime than I do with a lot of these bosses. So I would put it at not too bad. Because it's not too bad. It's not like you're ripping your hair out or you're failing consistently, for me at least. I think it's not too bad. I don't know. The Twins, though. This is a boss that's completely changed in my mind in recent years. Back in the day, I had no problem with this fight. I could do this fight like all day long not a problem but it wasn't until weirdly i went back and played terraria 1.2 and i realized that if you don't have the right accessories it can actually be pretty hard and i still kind of feel that now i die a lot to the twins i die to the twins more than any of the other mech bosses as strange as that is because i know some people don't have any problem at all but you know we're all different so i think the twins for me is not too bad no it's it's harder for me than queen slime but I wouldn't say it's the worst thing in the world. Mostly for me, it's avoiding the laser from this one. I don't know why. I really don't. So Skeletron Prime. I like Skeletron Prime more than Skeletron. Not in terms of the actual fight, but in terms of uh, difficulty. I have a better time with this one than this one, mainly because you can just go for the head. And I feel like if you just go for the head, the fight is so easy. All you need is movement accessories. It is kind of like Skeletron in that sense. All you need to be able to do is, is just move around the fight. So Skeletron Prime, not too bad. Where would I put it though? Where would I put it? I would put it at pretty easy behind <laughs> regular Skeletron. <laughs> Look at them. Two pairs of clowns right here. So that's interesting. Now Destroyer. Destroyer is another one of those ones where it's kind of class specific. If you play as a ranger, you're going to have a good time. Age, good time. Melee, not so good of a time. Summoner, kind of not so good of a time. It depends on what, what weapon you have as a summoner. You know, it's whether you've got like the good stuff. I think this one is harder for me than Skeletron. I think I would die to this more often than Skeletron. 
So I'm going to put it there. Is that right? Oh, that's hard. <laughs> I don't know if I messed this up a little bit. This list is seeming a little bit strange, actually, now that I actually put it down. And I'm glad I recorded this video, because I'd never really thought about it. Is the Destroyer easier than the Eye of Cthulhu? Um, in a lot of ways, yeah. In a lot of ways, yeah. Yeah, it is. I guess it's more gear-specific. You know, it's technically a harder fight, but it is it, though? Okay, moving on. We'll see if we rearrange at the end. Plantera. I don't know how to feel about Plantera, because I think Plantera is on the not-too-bad scale because of the second half. The second half could be really annoying depending on what class you're playing as. If you have an overpowered class, all right, Plantera is very easy because you're just going around in a circle. It's not bad. But if you're playing with something that isn't too powerful where you can't, like... Uh, like tank the second half, I don't think it's that easy. So I'm going to put it in not too bad, but I'm going to put it behind Queen Slime. Is that right? I've never doubted this so more. So like, I've, I really feel like I'm, I'm doubting myself on this one. And I didn't think I was gonna. So Gollum. Gollum. You know where he's going. Slapping him down in the bottom. I tell you what, very easy to cheese. No way. <laughs> Gollum. Gollum is a joke. Gollum needs to be sorted. It, it does. I, I really hope they go back and, and change this boss. Because he's easier than Plantera. Way easier. And I don't get why. Like, they've made changes to him, but I couldn't tell you what they are. Somebody, like, wrote it down for me one day. And it didn't stick in my brain. And that's because they didn't do anything to him. I don't believe it. Gollum is still a little weakling. Unfortunately. Alright? He, he's a good boss for Teeny Tiny Gollum. But he's not hard. He's not hard at all. Duke Fishron's a, a very interesting one. I have a lot of problems with, with Duke Fishron in a lot of my Let's Plays. Mainly, though, it's it's when I'm playing modded, to be honest. So it's kind of hard to have a vanilla perspective on it. I feel like in recent years, I've gotten a lot better at him because I've done him under, like, extreme circumstances once to get him modded Let's Plays. So I feel like I've, I've really improved with him. But I wouldn't exactly say he's easy. I feel like, you know what, he's harder than the Queen Bee. For me, it's the third and final phase, the teleportation phase, where it's kind of moving like this in an X. I struggle with that, and I don't really know why. I just, it, it don't click with me. So sometimes I'm good at it, sometimes I'm not. I'm kind of like, I don't know, 50-50 on it. So down to the final three. These three are pretty interesting as well. So Empress of Light. I think the Empress of Light is a hard fight, all right? The thing is, she has a she has a predictable AI, and once you know the pattern, it makes it easy. That is true. But learning that pattern can be a nightmare. And I tell you what, if you have a break from that pattern, actually coming back to the game and, and picking it up is really hard. Like recently, I've been trying to beat it in the daytime on Chippy's couch, and I'm struggling. Like, I'm really struggling. So the thing with the Empress of Light is, she does have that two sides, and I feel like you have to consider both sides to really, you know, get the whole package of Empress of Light. It's not two separate bosses, it's one boss with two AI. And if you want to get the Terra Prisma, you have to do the second one, which is the daytime one. I would say she is the very top of hard. I think the Empress of Light is the hardest boss in Terraria. I may be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. I think it's the hardest boss in Terraria. I think most people that play Terraria would have a hard time with her if you haven't played Modded. Modded does kind of prepare you in different ways. You know, you start seeing the game a little bit differently. But if you're a vanilla player, that's hard. If you're playing a mobile, that's really hard. So I think she deserves the top. I would never say anything in Terraria is very hard. I wouldn't say that because I play too much. So there isn't one in very hard, unfortunately. So, the Lunatic Cultist. Now, I personally feel like this boss is very easy. And I don't get why people struggle so much with it, because it's not really that hard. The thing about it is, is it has the duplicates, and it has the dragon. But, the fight is over so quickly, you don't really have to care about it. Like, you can have five dragons on the go, and still beat the Lunatic Cultist. I don't think it's that bad. And it's also very easy to hit, I don't know, Lunatic Cultist... I would, I would put it the same level 
is the wall of flesh. I think I would die to the wall of flesh more than I would the lunatic cultist. Because at the end of the day, when you fight the lunatic cultist, you have the best stuff going, don't you? Really? Realistically, you're not going to have better. Obviously, if you beat the Moon Lord and got Luminite, sure, but come on, he's not that bad. So, Moon Lord, Moon Lord, I would have put this harder until recently. So, the thing is, they changed the Moon Lord so that his lasers could pass through blocks, but they also gave everybody the Soaring Insignia, which is an item from the Empress of Light, which allows you to fly indefinitely. And I feel like if you can fly indefinitely, you can get around any of its lasers. I think the hardest part with the Moon Lord is the Moon Lord's heart with some classes. So if you're playing as a summoner, the Moon Lord fight goes on for a really, really long time. And so therefore it kind of becomes a bit of an endurance test. And I think that aspect of it makes it quite hard, but the fight itself is not so bad. I'm not gonna stand here and claim that it's the easiest boss in the world, because it ain't. It ain't the easiest boss in the world. But I don't think it's as hard as some people make out. I get so many comments that are like, I play a lot of Terraria, but I've never beaten the Moon Lord. You need to change that, because it's not that bad. I would put it here. Is that fair? Because it is harder than the Queen Bee. It is. But I don't think it's as hard as Duke Fishron. I don't. Duke Fishron requires very good precision movement, which is harder than avoiding a big laser by just flying over, like this. I think if you ever struggled with the Moon Lord, get the Saurian Insignia and you'll have a good time. So that's my list. Now I'm gonna have a little think about it and see if I wanna rejig any. So looking at this now, I think my list is right, but I've never, I've never been so unsure of myself. So this kind of seems like one of those things where I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, why did I do that? But I think, I, I think I've nailed it. I think I've nailed it. Oh yeah, so I should say, if you do like the Chari merch I'm wearing and you wanna get one of these free pins, all you gotta do is use code CHIPPY, put this pin in your basket and you get it for free, which is cool. Uh, that is an affiliate code, so, you know, hashtag sponsored, all right? <laughs> Bear it in mind. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave the video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing and helping me on my goal to 1 million subscribers, all right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.